Thank you for your interest in the Fiamma F7 position display and sensor and welcome to our informal video introducing the system. The F7 incorporates a magnetic sensor which works in concert with a magnetic tape scale or a magnetic ring. The scale and ring are constructed with magnetic poles which our magnetic viewer illustrates. The sensor converts these poles into an intelligent distant measurement capable of high resolution. As the system is of a magnetic technology, it offers outstanding dirt immunity and larger alignment tolerances than similar optical technology. The F7 is a battery-powered position display with a battery life averaging four years. The battery icon on the display offers ample warning before the battery is exhausted and needs replacing. Since the system is battery-powered, it acts as a quasi-absolute display where there is no requirement to home or zero the system upon a machine power-up. The magnetic tape scale is primarily used on linear measurement applications. The tape scale can also, due to its somewhat flexible nature, be integrated on rotary applications on larger diameters with less than 360 degrees of measurement requirements. The magnetic ring is primarily used where small diameters are required and also in applications measuring over 360 degrees. The F7 can be programmed to display angular values as well as linear distance. Although the tape scale and ring are magnetized, their magnetic attraction is small to where if any ferrous material is accumulated, it is easily pushed aside by the sensor and will not hamper the ability of the system to function correctly. A stainless steel adhesive cover strip is included with a magnetic band purchase to minimize any potential damage to the scale. The magnetic sensor may be ordered with an integrated sensor where the display is the sensor or cabled sensor versions with up to 5 meters in cable length. The user's terminal has three soft key buttons, each with a dual purpose use. In standard operating mode, they perform as a zero reset, a relative position move and back to the absolute position, and a millimeter to inch conversion. In the programming mode, the soft key buttons perform as enter, count up, and shift left. To enter the programming mode, press the count up button for approximately 3 seconds. The display will read PASS for password. Depress enter twice. The first depress activates the password initiation. The second depress activates the least significant digit of the password entry. Now depress the count up button to count up the least significant digit of the password. In this case, the password is 273, so the least significant digit is 3. Then shift left to the next significant digit and count up to 7. Then shift left again to the largest significant digit, which will be 2. Then depress the Enter key to enter the password. The display will read V1S, which represents the internally calculated distance value after 10 millimeters of linear travel. This offers the opportunity to program a correction factor for any slope error or misalignment of the magnetic band as it relates to the linear travel of the sensor. Depress the Enter key twice, once to initiate the programming of the parameter, the second to enter the program mode where the least significant digit of the desired count is ready to be entered. Enter your desired value for 10 millimeters of linear travel which after the numerals are entered, then enter the decimal point position for the correction factor distance traveled over 10 millimeters, not for the display decimal point position. So for our example, we shall not put in a correction factor, so we will want to shift across all our decimals so that we have 10. Continuing to shift left will bring us to a flashing decimal point where we will depress the count up key until the desired decimal placement is achieved then depress Enter. NDEC is now displayed, which is the number of decimal places that the measurement display will display when in normal operating mode. In this example, we wish to display to two decimal points, so two will be programmed. Depress the Enter key until the number of decimals desired is flashing, and then depress the Count Up key until two is displayed. Then depress the Enter key. TAST1, or Terminal Activation Settings, will now be displayed. To determine your Terminal Activation Settings, 
or more simply, what soft keys operate in the static user mode, the user manual supplied with the F7 directions offers a chart of the codes for selecting what keys will operate and what keys will not. There are many functions that the F7 can achieve, such as preset zero reset values, offset values for determining tooling offsets, and key delay response times. For the purpose of simplicity, we will only concentrate on the general functionality of the soft keys for this instructional video. For our example, we will enable the reset, absolute to relative value conversion, and the millimeter to inch conversion buttons in the user mode. The chart shows the required value of 111 for the digits in the code for making the keys function in our desired modes. Depress Enter to initiate programming of the TAST1 terminal settings and enter again to be in the program mode. The least significant digit is now flashing. Use the count up and shift left keys to enter our desired 111 code and to press the enter key when complete. DIR, or counting direction, will now be displayed. Depress Enter twice, once to initiate the programming mode, the second activates the least significant digit in the direction entry. Use the count up button to select either 0 or 1. 0 for forward increasing count direction and 1 for reverse increasing count direction. Depress Enter when complete. Then depress the Shift Left button to exit the program mode. Your F7 is now programmed. The F7 is also capable of entering a preset value when the reset button is depressed. This is very useful when initially setting up a unit and a known position value other than zero is needed to initialize the display. For example, let's program a value of 32.65 millimeters for our known position value. Therefore, the display will read 32.65 for our preset value. In this example, we will keep all the previously programmed functionality, such as the display for 10 millimeters of linear travel and count direction, the same as our previous example only changing the terminal activation settings to the preset activation by activating the code to 113. Once our TAST1 code is changed, we will exit the program by depressing the shift left key. Depress the reset button. PRST, or preset value, will appear on the display. Depress the enter button twice, and our display can now be programmed to our value of 32.65 millimeters in the same manner as we enter all our values in the programming mode. To minimize any accidental change of our preset position, we will re-enter the program mode and disable the reset functionality by changing the TAST1 code to 110.